We got a really brief look at LG's new WebOS Smart TV platform at CES, and it looked great. But until now, we haven't really gotten to dig our hands in and understand what it's all about. And it turns out, it's a much bigger deal than we originally thought. See, before, Smart TV was always kind of locked in a box. To get it, your Netflix and your Hulu, it was all in this, kind of divorced from the rest of the TV. But with WebOS, it's all one thing. Everything is integrated. You don't have to back out of one thing to go to the other. You just move seamlessly among all your apps, and it's really fun to use. LG invited us for an exclusive hands-on session with its WebOS TVs at its Silicon Valley lab in Northern California. The interface is based on these cards, which lay on a one-layer timeline at the bottom of the screen. On the left is stuff you've recently watched, in the middle is stuff you can do now, and on the right are more selections for what you might want to do next. Moving among apps goes as quickly as you can press a button, scroll a mouse wheel, or aim LG's Wii-style Magic Motion remote. This particular TV happened to play Ultra HD, so we bounced back and forth between Netflix playing a UHD video and a video on YouTube, then back again, about as fast as you would change the channel on your TV, maybe even faster. The WebOS Discovery Engine can make recommendations on what you might like to watch, but it also shows you what's hot or trending. You can also do a quick voice search, which will show you where you can watch your selection and whether it's available for free through one of your subscriptions or if you need to pay a fee. One really great example of how seamlessly integrated this platform is into the rest of the user interface is how you can change picture settings on the fly without backing out of what you're watching. That may seem simple, but it's a really big deal and a first. You can even customize what the timeline of cards looks like, so apps and inputs appear in the order you want them to. There's also the requisite web browser, which we played with briefly. Hey, digital trends, what do you know? But we've never cared for NTV browsers, and this one didn't feel much different, so we didn't dig too deep into it. What makes WebOS fun, engaging, and intuitive are the little animations that have been folded in. Cards bounce as you hover over them. You get little pop-up bubbles when you want to cancel something out. Even the setup wizard is animated. And while that last one may be a little cheesy, it's at least more fun than the dry text prompts that look like they came off a DOS screen. In the end, we came away feeling like WebOS really is what Smart TV was always meant to be. It's more like the smartphone and tablet you use every day. It just makes sense. It goes head-to-head -head against set-top boxes like the Roku and Amazon's Fire TV, and it's going to push the industry ahead because all the other TV manufacturers now have something they need to catch up to. It's not often we call something revolutionary, but we think this is a revolutionary step for Smart TV, and we can't wait to watch it evolve.